Today we have about 30 students from the University of San Francisco Law School who are volunteering here at Grace Cathedral. And it is so encouraging, it is so inspiring to see them here. Um, they were talking and they went around the circle and they talked about some of the questions that they're struggling with. They're wondering how can they make a difference with their lives. Um, and I love to see them. They're helping young people here. They're helping elderly people. They're, they're really taking and helping the community by their work here at Grace Cathedral. And it reminds me that all of us, we're constantly planting seeds. And we're going to see very few of those seeds bear fruit because we won't be around when they bear fruit. But the fruit they bear can be miraculous. Last night, my wife Heidi, um, she's working on a project to help provide non, uh, pro bono uh, legal help for the victims of the fire in, in Maui. And she was calling the Native Hawaiian Legal Corp. Uh, and she was describing her project. And um, she said, well, you probably don't know me, but, and the woman on the other end of the line said, actually, I do know you, with a pregnant pause. She said, when I was a student at Brandeis School, at Brandeis University in Waltham, Massachusetts, you were my teaching fellow for the class that I took with Anita Hill. And I remember the very first time I ever saw you. There was a young man there who was saying, well, I don't see what the difference is between a Hawaiian or a New Jerseyan. And you explained to him that there were native Hawaiians there living in Hawaii before colonists came and took over the islands. And I was so impressed by that. And you took me under your wing. You took me um, and we danced hula together at various events to raise money for, for social causes. You, you, you taught me so much. And it was actually your example that led me to choose to become a lawyer in the first place and then to be in the same field that you're in too, the field of immigration. And she said, I was the one who actually nominated you for a university-wide award that you received later in that year. It's so extraordinary. So now here are these two people, they've made, meant so much in each other's lives, um, reunited to do such important work in Hawaii where the fires have been so devastating. I am so astonished by this and so grateful. And I wonder if, what would happen if you could see some of the things that you had done in your past and you could learn and, 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 and see what, what a blessing you'd been in the world because that's the way that God sees us all. God sees these connections that we are totally unaware of in our own lives. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.